Praise the Lord, everyone, and welcome to God's Hiller 7 channel and our new YouTube channel, Yeshua's Remnant. I'm Sister Barbara, and I have a prophecy I'd like to share with you today. And I want to welcome all my new friends and subscribers out there. I don't get a chance to personally thank everyone that subscribed, but thank you. And um, I'm going to be in the New King James Version Study Bible today. And for those of you that are not familiar with a prophecy, uh, you could read about it in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. It's one of the spiritual gifts uh, when you receive the, the gift of the Holy Spirit. So, New King James Version Study Bible. <clears throat> I'm going to start in, let's see, John 3.3. 3. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. I'm going to go a little further here. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be reborn? Jesus answered, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. Okay, let's go to John 8, 12. Let's see here, wait, where are we here? Okay, here we go. John 8, 12. Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. And finally, we're going to go to Revelation uh, chapter 11, verses uh, 15 to 19. And the passage is called, The Kingdom Proclaimed. Then the seventh angel sounded, and there were loud voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the twenty-four elders sat before God on their thrones, fell on their, their faces, and worshipped God, saying, We give you thanks, O Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was and who is to come, because you have taken your great power and reigned. The nations were angry, and your wrath has come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that you should reward your servants and prophets and the saints, and those that fear your name, small and great, and should destroy those who destroy the earth. The temple of God was opened in heaven, and the ark of his covenant was seen in the temple, and there were lightnings, noises, thunderings, and earthquake, and great hail. I received this prophecy, um, let's see, January 20th, 2014. The title of it is, The Light is Coming to You, For Soon the Darkness Comes. The kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our Lord. The light is coming to you. You will be blinded by its magnificence. Fear not, for only the meek, the poor, the humble, the persecuted, those that have been purified in the fire will accompany the light. Those with a repentant heart will be called. Those that have been tested and found worthy. The light of the world shall return for those who belong to him. The time of your suffering ends. The time of rejoicing and celebration begins. Come to the light while it is still day and you can see the light. For soon the darkness comes. Come. Return to me, my children. Evil hides in the darkness, and his children love the night, for they believe their wicked deeds are hidden, but all things done in the dark will be revealed when the light returns. Come to the light, for the day of the Lord is at hand. So again, we have several prophecies out there um, over the last, I'd say, month or so, announcing once again that the day of the Lord is at hand. So. What you want to do is you want, and I said this on my last video, you want to get your house in order. Um, we see all around us the signs of the times. Uh, I added a few to my playlist uh, a, a week or so ago. And, um, I mean, just look at the weather. <laughs> I've been freezing to death for the last few days. And it is so cold out, and I've been run, up all night running the, the water so the pipes don't freeze. And it's going to like continue for at least another week or so, maybe into the beginning of February. So this is unbelievable. So again, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read about that in Acts 2.38. 
And as I said earlier, when I came on, uh, Brother Dan and I, we have the gift of prophecy. You, you can read about that if you're not familiar what that means. It's one of the spiritual gifts. You can look it up in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. There are several spiritual gifts uh, that you receive when you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So again, I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015, Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. God bless you all. Thank you for all for visiting me and visiting our Facebook page, God's Hiller 7. Uh, Facebook and God's Hiller 7 Twitter. Again, we have Yeshua's Remnant channel and Yeshua's Remnant Facebook. God bless you. Be safe. Keep warm. Amen.